Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be working through this problem with you as though you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's practice problem comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson five of the biochemistry two module. Be sure to hit pause and try this question on your own before watching my explanation. All right, so in order to ace this problem, we need to have an understanding of two important hormones. And those two hormones are ghrelin, right here, and leptin. Now these two hormones basically do opposite things. We have ghrelin, which is released by the stomach, and that triggers us to be hungry. It lets us know that we need food. It gives us that sensation of hunger, it triggers that. And that makes sense, right? A good way to remember that is the stomach growls when we're hungry, makes that grr sound, and so ghrelin comes from the stomach and tells us we're hungry. On the flip side, leptin, it's actually released by some of the fatty tissue that we have. And so that fat tissue, that releases leptin, and it does the opposite. It tells us, hey, you're good, you're satiated, you're full, and those feelings come from that hormone. A good way to remember this is if you think about leptin, that lept kind of sounds like lipid, and so it's coming from that fat, right? And if we have a good amount of fat, we have a good amount of energy storage, we probably don't need a ton more food, and so we're more likely to have those satiated feelings. So leptin comes from the, the, the fat tissue, and that's going to make us feel less hungry. Now that we know that, let's go check this problem out again and see what we can do. All right, so in this problem, we have a patient who comes in and their complaint is constant hunger. And that constant hunger is not relieved by eating. Which of the following could cause this symptom? So we're going to go through these options. We're going to see which of these could cause that increased hunger. What's likely to make us feel super hungry? First off, increased sensitivity of leptin receptors. So our body is more receptive to leptin. Well, remember, leptin is something that makes us feel full. Like we talked about, leptin comes from the lipids or the fatty tissue, makes us feel satiated. So if we're more receptive to that, we're going to feel more satiated. It's going to be the opposite. This next one here, overactivation of pancreatic beta cells. We've got to remember the difference between pancreatic beta cells and alpha cells. Beta cells release insulin. Insulin is what our body releases when we have plenty of glucose in the blood. Got plenty of glucose in the blood. On the other hand, glucagon is what our body re releases when the glucose is gone. And glucagon comes from the alpha cells. That's easy to remember because glucagon has an A in it. Insulin does not. So A for alpha. Glucagon comes from alpha cells. And I like to think like glucose gone. It's not in the blood. So beta cells, insulin, plenty of energy, alpha cells, glucagon, don't have enough glucose in the blood. So if the beta cells are activated, that's a signal that comes when we have lots of glucose in the blood. So I'm going to say that's not going to make us feel overly hungry. Down here, pancreatic tumor. Well, the problem here is like we've talked about, the pancreas is a really complicated thing, right? It's got alpha cells, it's got beta cells that release hormones that essentially do the opposite things in a lot of ways. So it's hard to know just from this information that it's a pancreatic tumor. It's hard to know how exactly that's going to affect things because that could be releasing more insulin, more glucagon. It could be having opposite effects. We don't really know. So I'm going to say this probably isn't the right answer. On the other hand, this one right here, a ghrelin releasing tumor, that checks out. Because like we talked about, grr, the stomach, ghrelin, that shows us that we're hungry or makes us feel hungry, I would say. And so this is going to be our correct answer right here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Awesome. Perfect. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. Now, if you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how we can help you maximize your MCAT score. Look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time. Bye.